Hi, and welcome back to Science From Home. I'm your host, Molly, with Spokane County Library District. I'm here today to do another experiment with you guys. Um, I'm really excited about this week because I find this experiment super fun. Uh, it's another experiment about energy. Uh, today, though, we're looking at energy transferring. All you need for this experiment is two different sized balls. It's traditionally done with a basketball and a tennis ball, and that's what I'm gonna use today. Here we go. Once you have the materials, it's pretty simple. You place the small ball on top of the big ball, and you let go. I'm doing it a couple of times because it's really fun. Okay, so what happened? By lifting up the balls together, I'm giving them potential energy, which is stored energy. We talked about that in, a, in the watermelon experiment. And when I drop them, that potential energy turns into kinetic energy because now the balls have movement. They're going down. The basketball hits the ground first and the ground absorbs some of the kinetic energy, but then it has to go somewhere. So the, bounce ball, the basketball starts to bounce back up, like, like you're dribbling a basketball. It goes down, and then the ground gets some of the energy, but the ball comes back up. As the ball starts to come back up, the tennis ball is sitting right on top of the basketball, still going down, and instead of the basketball continuing to rise up, the kinetic energy from it transfers to the tennis ball and the tennis ball flies off. The tennis ball goes pretty high. Uh, I think if I wanted to, I could get it to the top of my garage, which is higher than the tennis ball normally goes. If I just bounce the tennis ball, it doesn't go that high, but because it's getting energy from the energy from the basketball as it bounces back up from hitting the ground is going into the tennis ball the tennis ball goes crazy um and what we want to notice is the basketball just stays there so if i just drop the basketball it bounces it comes it comes back up to about my waist but when we do the experiment, the basketball is pretty much going to stay on the ground and the tennis ball is going to go flying. Energy is never lost. It can be transferred. It can turn into different things, but it doesn't just disappear. So in this experiment, a lot of the energy goes into the tennis ball. Some of the energy goes into the ground. And some of the energy actually goes into the sound that the ball makes when it hits the ground. The, this, this works in part because the tennis ball is lighter than the basketball. So it's easy for the energy to transfer up. Um, a couple ways to expand on this experiment is what happens if you try it the opposite way with the basketball on top of the tennis ball? Or does this work with other balls? Could you try a tennis ball and a golf ball? Or a basketball and a bouncy ball? Um, have fun experimenting with this at home. See how high you can get it. See what happens if you use different balls. Let me know how it goes. You can always leave a comment underneath the video. Thanks again for joining me for Science From Home. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.